Okay, episode 139. Egalitarian. Wonder what this what that means. Oh, is that like a prison or something? Okay, so I wonder what that intro is, that opening was about. What the problem is, I don't think there's any man in there. Yeah. I think Gain already noticed. Oh. <laughs> You've been duped. <laughs> Don't put your wallet in your back pocket. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you shouldn't, you shouldn't stay Gin's wallet. <laughs> oh, he got so it is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for the kid. <laughs> He's coming, the kid. Okay, I don't think it should <laughs> going to do it. <laughs> I feel bad for the kid. <coughs> Maybe it was his mother that was talking from the beginning. Underground city. Whoa. It's like, I guess it's like an underground Kabuki district. But why does it have to be underground? I guess maybe it's where all the So maybe this is run by the criminals. Oh, he's he's trying to buy his. He's trying to <coughs> to free his mother. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's his mom. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Look, what's with his eyes? It's not, it's not going in the same direction as the other one. Is that his sister? <coughs> or maybe that oh maybe that girl took care of him. <coughs> oh maybe that's his dot that old man's di daughter. <coughs> Yeah, maybe this her, his mom. <coughs> yeah, this is mother. I guess it can't be known that. <coughs> oh, he's not sure yet. But maybe she, she's just ignoring him. <clears throat> or maybe she's not really his mother. But but yeah, the old man said that her mother and her parents in the dark. <clears throat> Yeah. No, what I'll say. <coughs> oh, what I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Because <coughs> it will it is just pick back pick packeting right now, but eventually he'll he'll do much more worse crimes in the future. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he going to? Oh, he's going to. <coughs> What's that look? Oh, are they going to clean him up? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Tama. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, Tama is somewhat innocent to that as well. <laughs> she just, she just wants to clean him. Oh, mm. I think Gin is trying to figure out a way to meet the the girl. <laughs> they almost look like the same I can't really tell the difference
Oh, it's just really, <clears throat> really woman. Oh, she's dangerous <laughs> and that's brute <laughs> oh I guess they're just like their own country <clears throat> oh <laughs> She's so cool. She looks like the <coughs> the girl in, from Bilzebub. How dangerous it is. Yeah. One more. He's really powerful if even the Shogunate can even touch him. still paying for it yeah it's a good thing that he met Gin they not recording it <clears throat> whoa wow they're messed up <clears throat> feel bad for the kid yeah this this guys <clears throat> whoa and he worked hard for that he even worked dirty for that I think that would pretty much piss off again. <coughs> oh. <laughs> At the perfect moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be. No. Oh.
This place is so dangerous. <clears throat> but why? Whoa! No holding back. <clears throat> but why? What has Gin done for them to? <laughs> but why you aren't they considering us a customer or something? <clears throat> but this guy seems like he's old, very old. Yeah, they're like prisoners. It's like the some some kind of human trafficking where they use where they or they kidnap girls and they use them as prostitutes. So is he, or oh, you know us, son? <coughs> so maybe it is. Oh, and she just, <coughs> she's just ignoring him. So at least he won't be in danger. But. Imagine how long has he has been doing that. And <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> they, they don't follow rules this is really dangerous right now because they're within the enemy territory yeah ka. whoa that looks so cool This is like Japanese Amazon and Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so that that was I really love this episode, and this I guess this is the beginning of a, another series arc that uh, I think we've been waiting for for quite a while, and and I really love the story of this kid and his his mother, and definitely um and seeing Gin uh, moved by his story and what it was he's doing is yeah uh i understand where he's coming from and that um he's he just wants to meet his mother that he uh, definitely because he grew up without having any friends and i think after learning <clears throat> what her mother is going through right now i think he would really wanted to at least um learn more about her and but but yeah it's really it's really amazing that again he met with Gin and I'm excited for <coughs> for for Gin in helping this kid because definitely this is something this is something uh especially when when they showed the when when in the when in the scene where the shopkeepers were talking about because I thought that they were talking about how, how earnest this kid is, how hard working he is, that every day is going to that place, giving all his money, just to be able to meet uh, her, his mother. But yeah, these guys um, abuse that and take take grant take uh, take his uh, money and use it just for their own gain, and which is really messed up and. <clears throat> That they could do that but yeah uh it just shows how corrupt this place is and i feel like that the peep the girls or the the woman here were like um imprisoned yeah because they <coughs> forget the name of the the leader or something he said that this is like a prison for them and they're like inmates in this shangri-la shangri-la place and I think for I think it Gin needs to be able to at least um, uh, defeat the 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 mass the the I forgot the name the king of the night yeah to be able to free the people in here but but I I didn't really expect him him to be something like younger and some somewhat like strong in terms of fighting but maybe i guess his strength comes from the <coughs> the army that he has created his influence is is what they're talking about but yeah i think gin would be able to um <coughs> surpass that but still uh it's really i really enjoy this tension and this pressure and this danger that uh, this this uh, this <coughs> this underground world has shown, <coughs> and it's really cool that they've uh, they've also we've we've all also explored this different part of Edo, which is an, an underground city. It also, and it's almost like its own country because the shogun can't really do anything about them. So. <coughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I'm really, um, I'm really excited for this arc, and I really, I'm really interested in this uh, <clears throat> underground world. It seems like it's not really something like I uh, expected from an, an underground kind of city. I expected it to be something like dark, gloomy, um, <clears throat> um, very poor, something like that. But this looks like a very rich, vibrant kind of red red like district like kabuki district um city but the problem is even though it looks like that it's just for uh, like a marketing purposes or advertise advertising but the people working there are prisoners they're like slaves to that place and i think they cannot leave the place <coughs> until they die so yeah which is pretty messed up and feel bad for the women here and definitely they have a family or other things that they would want to go back to and and i think what's really making the the situation even worse is um, 
I guess the um, the the yaka. So definitely, I'm sure they they did not begin becoming like that. I guess just to be able to survive, they 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 uh, they've done horrible things, and <clears throat> even I guess just to be able to have a better a better situation just than just being a courtesan. So yeah, I'm really excited and how Gin is going to revolutionize this place and. I wonder if the Shinsengumi, but I guess if the Shogunate cannot touch this place, maybe there's have some kind of deal, or maybe he's been paying governments, government government officials. So I guess um, it's it's really hard for Shin, Shinsengumi to be able to um, infiltrate this place. But yeah, I think um, if Gin with the Yorozuya, <coughs> hopefully they could really. Um, uh, change this place but um, what I hope for this arc is to give a bit more um, tension a, a bit more <coughs> a danger for the characters because because uh, uh, I think that would be that would make us uh, much more um, interested in this arc rather than just <coughs> them being able to um, defeat the Yaka that easily but definitely I could see Gin defeating Dayaka but uh, for Kat, maybe for Shinpachi and Kagura I think I, what I'm hoping is that at least they could have some kind of reinforcements but but with regards to the king of the eternal night or something I don't see him being a threat at all for Gin unless he's really he's a really skilled swordsman or something like that or maybe he has sun, he has hiding some kind of um is a trump card that he could use to win against uh gin but because <coughs> because if gin and kagura and shinpachi could defeat the yaka i don't think this they they're they stand a chance against <coughs> the Ruzuya. i think they're the only they're the only um, like ex executioner or implementing the rules in this place and they're going to be defeated that easily I think that would easen up the tension and <coughs> I think that would um, I think that would lessen the the pressure or the the immediate the concern about <coughs> gain and others being able to uh, do this job much more harder than the usual case and definitely there's tons of uh, yaka like that and I really like the the character the design for the yaka they're like a mixture of um, <coughs> shinobi um, shinobi what do you call this um, the forgot the name uh, a geisha and uh, it's something I guess somewhat like a shino shinobi geisha and they're like Amazons at the same time because uh, yeah and it's really it's really cool and it's my, I think it's for this is my first time seeing this kind of this kind of uh, mixture of warriors so yeah I'm interested in how how will how strong the forgot the name is the strongest warrior <coughs> of the Yaka the leader the girl with the scars <coughs> and she really looks like the girl from the bills above the one who's taking care of uh of the of the baby and yeah and that scene where he cut off the hand of the guy was just really uh really gorish <coughs> and uh yeah he just killed off i guess without any loss here they're the law so and he just killed off those three guys <laughs> i guess because they're not they're not being uh respect respectful enough and 
yeah if they if they really if they act like like that i guess the hiaka somewhat like somewhat is like uh, a security for them but at the same time i feel bad for the i guess if they're i'm not sure wh- how they are feeling right now being in this place because maybe some are satisfied because maybe living up up uh, in the kabuki district or uh, on the outside maybe their life is even worse than that but still um uh, having without having any freedom i think that's really uh something something very a priceless thing not to have <coughs> especially if you have a family like um with the kid kid's mother so yeah, I'm excited for this arc and I've been waiting for an arc like this for <coughs> for last few episodes. And uh yeah, uh, I I'm hope I wonder what's going to happen next. Is it going just to be is it just going to be Gin defeating all the <coughs> the the Hayaka and then the King of the Night. And I wonder if there's going to be a twist with regards to the story, so yeah, so that's what I think with this episode. So how about you guys just leave your comments down below. And please like this video and subscribe for more updates. And um, if you want to want if you want to see the next episode, just go to the link in the description down below for my Patreon. And at the same time, it will really help me a lot in continuing this and doing more Russian videos. So thank you again for watching. See you in my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.